Saturday, another Saturday of football. We love to hear it, and that means I know Texas I'm A&M quiz. Yeah, I know I'm getting grilled right here. So yeah, let's that's do okay. It. There, yeah, well, you know, next week you'll you'll really have an advantage being in Northern Illinois. I should, right? Yeah, if I miss so. any next week, that's embarrassing. Yeah, well, I'm, I'll I'll do my best. You All know? right. So anyway, the University of Texas has a hook 'em horns thing. You know, mm -hmm. they do that. All right, and that's also the Huskies. Yeah, we that, got right? a little. We got like a little for Northern doggy. Illinois. All right. So what hand sign does Texas A&M have? Is it Agum, Kickum, Sickum? Or gigum? I'm gonna go with gigum. Gigum is right. Yeah, that's right. right. And it's a thumbs up sign. They gigum. Just a thumb? Yep. Yeah, gigum. It started back in 1922. Uh, Hook'em horns, by the way, didn't start till 1955. So the Aggies have that advantage over Texas, mm -hmm. as they they like to. You know, they're a little bit competitive. Because got a little rivalry, right? Ah, yeah. A little, little rivalry. Yeah. And we've got some poetry for you this morning. Mm -hmm. What we like to call the weather could be verse that may have something to do with that particular topic. Aggie fans are known for their spirit, yelling things like gigum. They're also known for Lone Star beer, which might get them yelling, swig em. Yeah, because it's going to be hot down there. I might uh, consume a few beverages before this game tonight. It starts at 730. It's going to be in the uh, high 80s and feel like it's in the mid to upper 90s for most of the day down there. It's extremely humid. If you're not familiar with uh, that area, just off the coastline between Houston and Austin, there's a lot of humidity down there from the Gulf, and they will be experiencing that along with a lot of Irish fans today who are go going down for the uh, season opener. 7.30 tonight, but as for today, the campus is looking beautiful. Welcome back to all of the Notre Dame, St. Mary's, Holy Cross, and all the other students in the area. Uh, now, I think in their second week of class, 67 degrees, northwest winds, three miles an hour, brilliant sunshine out there, and you can see how clear the horizon is now that some of that humidity is starting to leave. As we uh, take leave of that, we'll show you Michigan City, where you can see the city of Chicago quite clearly across the lake. And again, for about the last week, all of this was shrouded in that hazy, murky stuff with all the humidity in the atmosphere. But now it's all cleared out. You can very clearly see the horizon, the blue water and the sky above it. And there's still a little bit of haze out there, but that will be dissipating. And uh, we will uh, be left with brilliant clear skies over the next two to three days. Up in St. Joe, Michigan, a nice view of the White House there. We've had a lot of boat traffic, one to two foot waves on the lake today, 63 degrees with calm winds up in Benton Harbor, St. Joe. Live radar showing the last of these clouds still trying to work their way out. It's a very slow moving system and this is draped all the way across. In fact, the tail end of this frontal boundary goes all the way down to, you guessed it, College Station, Texas, where it's still hot and humid down there. We're going to widen out and show you a little bit of uh, storm activity that rolled through Indianapolis a little bit earlier this morning. Most of these storms have calmed down now, uh, just some rain in uh, Indianapolis. But down along the Gulf Coast, you can see a little spin here. And uh, this is a surface low uh, pressure system that's throwing some moisture back in toward Houston. and. As we zoom in here a little bit between Houston and Austin, you've got Bryan, which is right in there, uh, and that's where College Station is, home of the Texas A&M Aggies. So they do have some clouds there, very moist, very humid, and very warm conditions down there today, and that's what uh, the Irish and the Aggies will have to contend with. For us, it's going to be just increasingly beautiful as we go through the day, high getting up to about 82 degrees by 4 o'clock this afternoon. Notre Dame and Texas A&M kicking it off at 7.30 tonight. It will still be 86 degrees even at 7.30 this evening. It'll be muggy. They could see a stray storm from that system that I showed you, but the likelihood of any rain goes down as we head through the game, and the temperatures start to drop a little bit too into the 80s. The winds will not be a problem down there. Uh, it should not be a factor at all in the game. I want to show you the feel-like temperatures, though, because the feel-like temperatures, that heat index with the humidity, it's going to feel like 94 degrees and probably warmer than that to the players actually down on the field. Still probably about 90 degrees by halftime in terms of that feel like temperature and then finally into the low 80s by the end of the game. For us, we're seeing uh, uh, near normal temperatures today, uh, a little bit below normal tomorrow and a little bit even more below normal on Monday before we start to moderate a little bit. Toward the middle of the week, we get to return to normal to maybe slightly above normal temperatures. As for Lake Michigan, if you're headed up there today, it's probably your best bet. Uh, one to two foot waves out there. If you want to go swimming, the green flag is flying today. The winds are fairly calm. And as we head into tomorrow, though, you want to be quite careful. Uh, tomorrow, I would say stay out of the water. It's okay to be on the beach, of course, but in the water, you'll see five to seven foot waves, and that can create very dangerous rip currents and things like that. So uh, especially near the piers, there'll be a lot of current swirling. So do not go in the water tomorrow. Monday, we're going to raise it to a yellow flag, moderate uh, flag with those waves subsiding down to two or three foot uh, waves. But tomorrow, the reason for these waves is we have a secondary cold front coming through, and that will produce winds of 10 to 15 
15 up to 20, 25 miles an hour at times, and it really churns up when those winds are out of the northwest, which they will be tomorrow. In future track, you can uh, see the last edge of these uh, clouds that will be moving out of here by 4 o'clock this evening. All of Michigan should be brilliantly clear. You see this is at 6 o'clock, so beautiful grilling conditions tonight if you want to get out. Temperatures won't be bad. High 80 or uh, low 80s, I should say, uh, with a lot less humidity. Uh, as we go through tomorrow, then, watch this cold front. This is the second cold front coming through, and as that secondary cold front rides through, that's when our winds really shift out of the northwest, and so by Sunday around noon, you'll see those strong winds coming across the lake. That'll be producing those five to seven foot waves that we mentioned, and the reason that tomorrow will be fairly dangerous along the shoreline itself as far as getting in the water. Beyond that, though, once the winds calm down, we start to see uh, the winds actually turn around to the northeast, bring a few clouds maybe to Chicago, but all the way through Monday, Labor Day, and Tuesday, things are looking absolutely spectacular with lower temperatures, lower humidity. And you see that in our 10-day forecast with 82 uh, for a high today. Still a little bit of that residual humidity out there in the morning hours, but clearing out very nicely. You can see the low temperature tonight, still kind of high, 62 degrees, but then our temperatures go down. 78, that secondary cold front comes through. 75 on Monday for a high. And look at this low, 48 degrees on Monday night, early Tuesday morning. So uh, we're going to see some cool conditions out there. And as you take a look at the 16-day uh, forecast, we've got to get the, uh, the Notre Dame football in there for next Saturday. They have a game against a, a small little school from northern Illinois called... Northern Illinois. I think, yep. <laughs> the, got a spot on the right. Huskies. <laughs> Waleed, a, uh, a Husky alum, and uh, we pointed out earlier they have the same little uh, hook 'em horn sign. Yep. Do that. Now, what does that stand for? The two it's, ears on the Husky? Uh, yeah, it's a Husky, basically. Okay. I don't know if. Not, not hook 'em horns. We're not doing it like no. that. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I but mean, that's next week. Yeah, exactly. We still got it. Like you said, we got.